he wanted to do a mass gimmick. We were just a Rasta gimmick, and uh, uh, maybe, I don't remember exactly who came up with the name, but it was like Rasta Mysterio. It's like Rey Mysterio, it's familiar, but it's different, clearly. You know, everything you need to know about the name is right there, so that was perfect. And pushing the smoking weed aspect, you know, great character. Coming from Jamaica, right down to the beach. He weighs it in 203 kilos. Rasta Mysterio. He actually puts hash oil on pizza. I haven't seen that before, you know? He'll make like a bruschetta of fucking hash oil, mm -hmm. you know? I don't know how much while smoking. I'm almost afraid like part of his face might catch on fire or something. You have that much oil and other things happening. But also a, a, a good example of just a man who's very mysterious because also nobody's seen Rasta without the mask. That man is dedicated. I mean, I remember at the first few hood slams, he would stay in gimmick the whole time because it really wasn't a backstage area. So once that mask came on and the public was let in, he was just hanging out. He'd go up and smoke bowls. He was Rasta Mysterio. He wasn't he was Rasta Mysterio. <laughs> you know, he's smoking bowls with you. He would like do the gimmick the whole time, never take the mask off in front of the fans. Like, you don't see that too often. I mean, that's dedication. Would that help him at all with, with the amount of weed that he smokes? Maybe just to be unknown. I mean, obviously, he's got to be selling it, or uh, the level that he's buying yeah. it is a felony, even if it is for personal use. Yeah. Rasta Mysterio, high as fuck, but that's what he's all about. Hey, Butabi. Is it me? Or does the Victory Warehouse look a little bigger tonight? And you think of the amalgamation of styles to be, to have kind of that, uh, you know, his parents had joint custody of him from what I understand from that one brief interview he did. Well, it was more of answer all one question. But right, he didn't stick around long. Just growing up, uh, splitting his time between Jamaica and Mexico and Oakland, it's like amazing to bring that Rasta style to the Lucha community, mm -hmm. multiplied by at first dirt weed, but now, you know, some pretty solid, the high, high mids. Yeah. High mids, a lot of edibles. From, from my perspective of him seeing him throughout the years, he's the, the, one of the most selfless people. I mean, I, he really is, it's such a hack thing to say that he's the nicest guy I know, but he's, he's an incredible, uh, good human being.